it's going to note music here today with another tutorial and today you're going to be learning five ways to create midi regions in logic let's get started the first way and most traditional way is actually right clicking the area of your track here and clicking create midi region now you've done it you've created a midi region you can drag change the length of it um, you can actually drag it into different position right midi is very versatile but how do you occupy this with information well you're gonna go down to your editor here. You can open up your editor by hitting E on your keyboard and you're gonna use your pencil tool. You're gonna use this as your secondary tool by holding down command on your keyboard and clicking different areas of your piano roll here, okay? Notice that every time you click a space, it gives you a preview of what the sound's like. So for example, all right. Now, if I play that from the beginning, okay, that is what my MIDI region sounds like when I've occupied it with MIDI notes. All right, so that's one way to create a MIDI region. The second way to create a MIDI region is actually to select the MIDI region from your arrangement window here you're going to hold down option on your keyboard. You're going to left click and drag this region. It turns into a plus sign. Okay. And you're going to let go. And now you've created a copy of your other MIDI region. So that's the second way to do it. All right. The third way to create a MIDI region is let's say you're recording and you're playing notes on your MIDI keyboard or whatever hardware you use to kind of create MIDI data. So I'm going to click record. Okay. It's going to play. Okay. Now I've created another MIDI region. So if I play that from the beginning, okay, it doesn't sound good, but I'm not really trying to make it sound good right now. I'm just trying to give you examples on how to create MIDI regions. So I'm going to close that. All right. Now, the fourth way to create a MIDI region is to use capture recording. So let's say I'm playing right in my pro uh, in my project and I'm kind of fooling around on my keyboard playing whatever. OK, but I didn't record it because I didn't have the intention on recording it. But now I'm looking back thinking, Hey, I really like what I played. I wish I could have gotten it. It's not too late because you're going to click shift R on your keyboard for a capture recording. So logic was still storing that information of the notes you played. However, it wasn't actively recording it, which is why you're able to do this. So now I've created another MIDI region using a capture recording. All right. That's the fourth way to do this. The fifth way to create a MIDI region is actually to go in your loop browser here. Okay and it's gonna be pre-populated with a bunch of loops that come with logic. Um, you're gonna select the one you want. Uh, it's loading here, mine's a little slow, there we go. So now, for example, all the green ones are gonna be MIDI loops and all the blue ones are gonna be audio loops. So I'm gonna select this 12 string dream, whatever it is, and I'm gonna drag it right here, okay? I've created a MIDI region using loops. All right, so I'm going to play. That sounds better than anything I made today, so. All right, that's the fifth way to create a MIDI region. If you liked the video, you found it informative, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want to see more content, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you want me to make a video on.